Good afternoon, this is Steve, KI5JUF, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. This is uh, another video on how to program the FT991A, but on this video we're going to do something different. We're going to use a software uh, from a company called RT Systems, and I'll show you the interface cable and the software. This is the actual software itself. It's RT Systems. Uh, this one here is the actual, you can kind of see, uh, I purchased this from HRO. Uh, the other thing it will come with is it will come with a uh, RT programming cable which plugs into your computer. The other plug goes into the rear of the radio. And also what will happen is you will get a, uh, you will get a piece of paper with a license. And I believe the way the license, what I did, is I actually downloaded the software from the website. And I think there was actually a license. Uh, I'm trying to think. Somewhere there was a code that I had a license or something for this. And I don't actually see it right now. But there was a, a license that came with it where you had to actually register it. Oh, actually, the license, I think, no, that's the part number. Well, anyway, um, if you buy it, you it has everything you need. I think all you have to do is download the software and enter a code. I don't have the license, but anyway, enough of that. So what we'll do now is I'm going to swing over to my computer, and I'm going to show you the actual program that we use. It's called the FT991A Programmer. So that's what it looks like right there. You can kind of see it. So then we'll zoom back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to not move the camera too much. I'm going to try to get you on my screen. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cable into an open USB port. Try not to shift anything too much. And really, this, this RT system software, this is really some great stuff. I mean, this, I've, I use this for my FT3D, and it's, 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 it's quality, quality stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it, you get everything you pay for. So there's the screen. So what happens is, uh, the way this works is, this actually uh, has uh, tabs. And this is the la last update I did, which was uh, number six. There, if you can see that. These are all the frequencies, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to the radio, and I'm going to get the data from the radio. And it gives us instructions here. It says, insert the cable, turn the radio on, make sure the cat baud rate matches, click OK. And it's going to read the memory from the radio. Like I said, this RT system software, this is this is really good stuff. I mean, this thing, this is reliable. The drivers all work. It doesn't give you any problems. It doesn't give you any error messages or anything like that. It, it is it's first class. Now, once we read the radio, it's going to populate this table here. It looks like an Excel spreadsheet. And what we're going to do then is we're going to actually add two, two channels, two memory locations. The first memory location will be simplex. The second memory location will be a repeater. And we did, an early, we did a, a video on the same two memory location programming using the actual memory interface or the, the touch buttons on the front of the radio. But this, we're going to show you the... The software, because once you use the software for the first time, you'll probably never manually program the radio again because it's just really nice. But if you're in the field and you need to, the buttons are there. It takes a little while to read here, so hopefully this will get everything it needs. Yeah, RT Systems is, is like I said, I'm gonna sound like an ever like a commercial, but they really are are good stuff. And like I said, when this happens, this, when this thing finishes up, it'll populate all the screens. You'll hear the radio beep a couple of times, too. It, 
All right, there we go. There's everything in there. So, now, what we're going to do is, the first thing is we're going to go ahead and program memory location 14. We're going to program it for simplex. So I'm going to type in 150, 146.520, and we're going to press tab. So, uh, you always enter the receive frequency, so that's even when you do a repeater, you'll always enter the receive frequency on your radio. Uh, so it assigns the transmit to the same. The offset, there is no offset, but you could put one, but we don't have it since we're simplex. It is simplex, there's the different modes. It's FM and it's uh, no tone. And that's it, that's all you got to do. Now, the next one we're going to do is a repeater channel repeater channel we're going to enter the advertised frequency of the repeater which is one I think I hit the tripod there I hope you're able to see this we're gonna we're gonna run a test and hopefully you can see the screen 145.490 whoops 145.490 and now we're going to press tab and what's pretty cool about this is the software actually knows it's intelligent it knows if you put a certain repeater in there it's going to know the off it's going to know the offset so that that's a really nice feature so it already took care of that it's a 600 kilohertz and it's a minus it's fm and we're going to set the tone for tone only uh, and then we're going to set the tone frequency to 88.5 the last thing we're going to do is we're going to give these guys a name so the first name that we'll do is I'll turn on the cap locks we're going to call this one 2 meter simplex and then we're going to go down here and we're going to call this one this gentleman is KI5 Z Zeta Sierra repeater. Okay. So now we've got everything programmed, everything. Let's double check our numbers. That all looks good. 152 simplex. 140 do 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 144 145.490. That's good. I've learned to always double check my frequencies. I can't tell you how many times I've missed a digit and I'm going, what, is, what happened here? So now what we're going to do is it's created a new tab here called Untitled. So I'm going to do Save As and I have a system that I keep track of all my updates and what we'll do here is I'm going to, I need to navigate to the folder that has uh, the 991A and I'm going to go ahead and click, I'm going to click this, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type a 7. That way I know it's the 7th rev. I'm going to do save. Now I'm going to close this, this one here I'm going to close it, that's the 6, I'm going to close that tab. So now this is the current tab, so I'm going to just do save again. Now we're going to send it to the radio. So go to settings, go to communication, go to send data to radio. And it's going to give us instructions. Insert the cable, turn the radio on, make sure the cat baud rate. I didn't have to change anything here. So I, like I said, this is great software. So I'm going to go ahead and update everything. I normally leave these two. I haven't done much with the menus yet, but we're going to go ahead and send it. Now what's going to happen is it's going to you're going to hear the radio beep and it's going to do some weird things. It'll probably go to a 1.8 uh, megahertz pop-up screen and you'll see some weird things happen but it's only because it's updating. One of the steps it will tell you to do is cycle power on the radio with the on-off switch. So that will force the updates to take place. Yeah, 
this once you once you get the software package, the, the, I will tell you, you most of the Yasu radios they 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 come with the, a USB cable, but I think they're only for firmware updates. If you buy, if you're expecting to program it, you are pretty much gonna. I think you have to have a special USB cable, at least on my the radios I purchased. RT Systems sells all the cables and they sell all the software. It's a one-stop deal. I hope you can see that those numbers on there. I should be able to. I'm looking at through the viewfinder on the camera. And you just heard the radio burp, which is what it always does. Now it says turn off the radio, so I'm going to just pan over here. And this is what your radio will look like. It'll have a 1.8. I'm going to go ahead and power it off. Power it back on. So it's, it gets stuck in this mode, but to get back into normal mode, just press the uh, VFO and then press it again to go to memory. Sometimes you have to press it a couple of times to get it, let's see here. Let's see, the channels, they're in there, we just got to find them. Sometimes it does this, it gets a little weird. Turn it off again. Press FM list, let's go to... memory channel there I, I think it just takes a while to, to synchronize it I may have just kind of rushed it there and we'll go to our channels and see if they're there uh, there's memory location 13, which is uh, 2 meter simplex. And there's our repeater channel that we put in. So I think what I, I had a little problem with it. I think I had to wait. But one of the things to get it back into normal mode, I, I remember pressing this button a couple of times and turning this one. Uh, and then finally it would, it would like synchronize. So everything looks good. Let's see if the repeater looks good. KI5JUF testing. And it looks good. And time is up on our video, so we'll go ahead and shut down the software. And we're done.